is my dream. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains, North Carolina. Tonight, I'm showing off the very first component of another solar project that I'm getting ready to do here on the farm. I'm going to be setting up another 1,000 watt, maybe 1,200 watt solar system that's going to power all the lights and outlets in my garage. Anything that's not 220, I hope to have moved off grid by middle of summer. And so to start that project, I picked up this. This is an EA Sun Power M PPT solar charge controller. And I'm going to be running it at 24 volts, so 1,400 watts or 1,440 watts of solar paneling is what it can handle max. And like I said, um, I'm going to go with 1,000 to 1,200, so I'm going to keep it below that number. It does have the ability to run 12, 24, 36, or 48 volts, which is really nice. And I'm going to be running this one on lead acid uh, or gel cell and um, not lithium like I did. The other setup is lithium. This one's just going to be conventional I'm kind of curious between the two systems, you know, cost-wise. Let's see how it all plays out over the years. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Uh, just came in the mail. I've been out of town for quite a while. So this was sitting at the mail post office for some time. But I'm looking forward to starting this project. I hope I have time to do it before it gets too cold. But I'm a little worried, just a little worried, that that's not going to be the case because it is... Just a few weeks before true winter hits. All right. That's a little smaller than I thought it was going to be, but that doesn't matter. All right, let's see what we got here. This is the MPPT 6048. And it's kind of like a fold out. 60 amp solar charge controller. And looks like it goes through, um, you know, the different setups on the screen. Battery type setting, voltage setting, right, on the back side. Yeah, just kind of a general how-to. Well, that's something I don't want to lose, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and take this out. This isn't going to be a very long video because I'm not going to be setting this thing up today. But I'm accumulating parts, and so as the... Months go on here through the winter and into the spring. Go ahead and take this out of this wrapper. And there we go. All right, nice big cooling fan. I like that. And here's our digital display here with our programming bits. And then we have our connections, so output plus and minus. That would be if you're going to run native 12 volt stuff. So I could run straight off a of solar, a ham radio, CB radio, that kind of stuff there. Battery plus and minus in. And then our solar plus and minus in as well. So really nice. Cool. And the case is this is very heavy. It's a well vented case. Nice. And then it does come with some brackets because I'm going to be mounting this to a board. And so I've got this. I'll make a separate video on it, but I've got another 24 volt uh, inverter that I've picked up. It has also arrived. And for paneling, so right now I don't have the paneling purchased for it. I think I'm going to try to get 230 watt panels or maybe 250 watt panels instead of the 100 watt panels. And it's it's weird when it comes to solar. If I go with a 100 watt panel, I can get it for about 75 bucks a panel with free shipping. If I move up to a 230 watt panel, I can get a used one for like 30 or 40 dollars, but the shipping on it is insane like 300 dollars to ship it. There is a place about six hours from here that sells them for that price and doesn't obviously I wouldn't have to pay shipping if I drove down there. The thing will be, will I have time to drive down there and pick those up at some point over the winter? If I did, you know, I get four panels and I'm I'm good to go, or five panels and I'm really good to go. But those are 24 volt panels anyway, so it'll be fun to check that out and see what I can come up with. These are going to be sitting on the roof. I'm not angling them at the sun, so it's not going to be ideal as far as uh, solar input. But I don't I don't use as much power in the garage as I do in the house, so I'm hoping that this setup 
will, like I said, take take me, you know, right now about one third off grid. I'd like to make this one half off grid using this. So uh, that's it. I got this thing off of Banggood, and I'll leave a link on uh, where I got this and how you can get one yourself. They they just kind of do what they do, you know. I mean, there's not a lot to it. What I would say is uh, MPPT is the way to go when you're looking at solar setups. The reason being, and the reason these are a little more expensive than the conventional, you know, $10 El Cheapo ones that you can get, is that this will allow any amount of sunlight to be converted into energy that charges your batteries or powers your devices. Where the other style of solar charge controller, that just is an all or nothing kind of thing. So if you have partial sunlight or not good sunlight or tree cover or something like that, it's done. It doesn't charge at all. You don't get any wattage to the batteries. So that's why I would recommend getting this style here. So this will be something. Stick around. I'll be making a lot more videos on this uh, new system as it goes along. And uh, I hope you'll stick around for that. Till next time, my friends. Take care.